Hey guys, I thought I'd come at you guys to let you guys know of a new series that we're going to be starting off here on this channel, which is going to be a hair growth hack series. And we're going to be demonstrating different ways that we can get some growth going on each and every single month. So if you guys happen to be interested, be sure to sign up for our notifications. I'll have a link provided down below so you guys won't miss a single video. But for this video, we're going to start off the series with a sea kelp hack. So if you guys are interested, continue to keep watching. So I'm going to start off with using my powdered sea kelp as well as my bentonite clay. You're going to also need a distilled bottled water as well as an essential oil of your choice. You're going to also need a glass or plastic mixing dish, a measuring cup, a plastic spoon as well as a measuring spoon. So now I'm just adding my distilled water to a measuring cup and I'm using approximately one cup of this. You're going to go ahead and set it in the microwave to get it to a nice hot boil. Now I'm going to take my glass mixing dish and I'm going to add approximately two tablespoons of this powdered sea kelp. If you have more hair than I do, by all means use enough product that's going to coat all of your hair in your scalp. This recipe really does double very easily. I'm going to also use two tablespoons of this bentonite clay. Now do keep in mind that I use this recipe once a week for four weeks straight and I only utilize the bentonite clay one time. So with that being said, it's not necessary for you to use the bentonite clay each and every single week. So just use the powdered sea kelp alone for three weeks out of that month's period. So now I'm just taking my boiling water and I'm mixing it into my powdered sea kelp and bentonite clay mixture. And if you use the sea kelp by itself, you'll notice that the consistency is a whole lot more smoother. However, because we utilize the bentonite clay as well, it's going to have like that chunky, muddy like appearance. You're going to also um, apply your essential oil. I'm using bergamot oil and this is very high in fragrance and it's going to help mask that fishy ocean sea kelp scent. Um, the smell is very strong so I highly do recommend you guys use a high fragrant essential oil. So here's what my hair looks like. If you guys have not seen my one year post big chop link check and update video, I'll be sure to post it here on the screen as well as down below in the description box so you guys can see exactly how my hair started out in this video get the exact length and how much i was able to achieve by doing this sea kelp growth hack um, again that information will be left down below as well as here on the screen and if you guys are interested in any of the items that i'm utilizing throughout this video those links will be left down below as well so be sure to check that out I have now divided my hair into four separate sections and I clipped it up and out of the way. Right now I'm just going to go ahead and wash my hair just to kind of remove any um, buildup or dirt that may be on my hair and we're going to go ahead and get into it. Again my hair is parted in four separate sections and I'm just going to go ahead and work from section to section to make it a lot more easier to apply. I'm going to remove any excess water and I just chose to use plastic gloves because I do not want that sea kelp mixture to get underneath my nails. Again the scent is very strong and if you can deal with it by all means deal with it but it is a bit funky. <laughs> Um, but I'm just basically creating subsections and I'm applying this mixture to my hair and my scalp working my way down the shafts and you're going to use enough of this product to coat every single strand. If you need to use an application brush by all means use it but you're going to apply this um, product throughout every section on every strand in order to get this growth hack to work. So in case you guys are wondering what the heck is sea kelp and what would it do for my hair, sea kelp is actually full of different essential nutrients to ensure hair growth as well as it's very high in iodine which is one of the best minerals for helping maintaining healthy hair as well as it does aid in hair loss. Now me myself I do have an iron deficiency which is the reason why I really do like to incorporate sea kelp into my monthly regimen. Um, you can always tell if you're deficient in any way shape or form by the appearance of your hair so you always want to check with your health care provider because it could be another underlying issue. Now with the bentonite clay it's known for being the clarifier it does detox detoxify your hair and removes impurities and the sea kelp helps replenish that so both of them both of them together will really do help in boosting your hair growth rate and improving the overall appearance of your hair so now i'm just taking two different plastic bags as well as a bonnet and i'm putting that over my head and i'm going to go ahead and let it sit for approximately anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and we're going to go ahead and move along 
Now I'm just rinsing out my hair. Now if you guys do wanna see my wash routine, I have not done one on this channel yet, be sure to give this video a like. And if I get enough likes, I'll see that you guys really do wanna see my wash routine and I'll get it out for you guys. But right now I'm just using a moisturizing shampoo as well as a conditioner and I'm gonna go ahead and remove that excess sea kelp as well as the bentonite clay. Now that I have everything rinsed out of my hair, I'm gonna take a t-shirt and I'm just going to blot my hair to remove any excess water. You don't wanna use a regular towel because it can dry out your hair and potentially mess up your curl definition. Now, as you guys can see, I really don't have any special results. This is just what my hair looks like. I don't have any product on my hair, so it does tend to look a bit dry. However, I do use this method just to kind of obtain some growth. You know, what's wrong with a little bit of growth? Um, but as you guys can see um, with the bentonite clay, I really do like it because it separates my damaged portions that I know I need to cut off from my actual um, healthy hair, my curl pattern texture or whatnot. And so therefore you can kind of assess what needs to go, but just filling my hair, it feels a lot more softer. It feels as if it were headed down the right path to some successful growth. So again, this is a month ago. And I do want to kind of clarify some things in case you guys are wondering. My hair naturally grows a half an inch a month. And I am also on hair growth vitamins. And I am able to achieve another half an inch of growth. So each month I'm able to grow my hair approximately one inch of growth. And I decided to utilize this little hair growth hack to see if I can get some additional growth. So here is the back of my head. As you guys can see, it's 11 inches that left back side. And we're gonna see how much growth I was able to achieve within the month's time. Um, in addition to the hair growth vitamins and my natural growth. And this is 13 inches in the back. So I was actually able to achieve an additional one inch with this little hair growth hack seek help method that I used and I'm super duper excited. We're gonna move to the side of my head. This again is the left side of my head. And as you guys can see last month, it was 10 inches. Now we're taking the hair growth vitamins as well as my natural um, hair growth, um, a half plus a half equals one inch. We're gonna see how much I was able to get with the seek help method and that's 12 inches on that side. So <laughs> I was able to get two inches, okay? So we're gonna move it along to the top crown portion of my head. Again, this is last month. I'm gonna go ahead and take my measuring tape. We're gonna see exactly how long that is right now. And as you guys can see, we're looking at 13 inches, which was the longest portion of my head last month. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and see uh, again, a half an inch from my natural gro growth um, and as well as a half an inch from the hair growth vitamins, how much we were able to get with the sea kelp and the bentonite clay. Add an additional one inch, wasn't too much on the top portion, but it was worth to do a little dance with. So um, 13 inches on top. Now we're gonna do the left front side of my head. And last month we were looking at 10 inches up there. Now we're gonna do this this month and just looking at my hair on video right now, I can just see a straight up change. So um, it's a half an inch from my natural hair growth as well as the half an inch from the hair growth vitamins. Let's see what we're looking at now with using the sea kelp method. And we were able to achieve again, another two inches. Okay, yeah. So again, you guys do check down below for any video references if you guys are interested in this video as well as links provided for everything that I utilize in this video. You guys also do sign up for our notifications so you guys won't miss a single video. Let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you guys soon.